of 2014 will be welcomed into the Basketball Hall of Fame tonight. 22 News reporter Ryan Walsh standing by live outside Springfield Symphony Hall as we get ready for enshrinement ceremonies. There isn't a Michael Jordan or Larry Bird in this year's class, but there is one player who helped change the way basketball is thought of today. The Basketball Hall of Fame will welcome 10 new members. The one thing that resonates with all of us is that you know we've, we, we all have uh, a deep, passionate love for the game. If you're a basketball fan, you've heard of David Cern and Alonzo Mourning. But fellow class member Sharunis Marshallonis may have had the largest impact on the game. Marshallonis played for the Soviet Union, which upset the United States in the 1988 Olympic semifinals. The dream team may have never existed if the United States had won gold in the 1988 Olympics. If this team doesn't win the gold in 88, do you right. think there's a dream team? Do you think there's NBA guys in the Olympics now? Man. Uh, no, I, I, and I was a part of that. Mitch Richmond played on Team USA in the 88 Olympics, the last team to be made up entirely of college players. Marshall Onis' Russian team was filled with pros. By winning the gold in 88, do you ever feel that you're kind of partly responsible for the dream team and, and all, all of the American teams that were formed with NBA stars after that? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting question. This. Yeah, we will lose semifinal. So definitely in '92, that would be that would be a different team. That would definitely no dream team. I know that from NBA side. You know. The dream team was enshrined in the Hall of Fame in 2012, and USA has won the gold at the Olympics every year since the dream team started in 1992. We're not done here just yet. We'll be back in just a few minutes to show you as some of the stars head in the Symphony Hall for this year's Basketball Hall of Fame enshrinement ceremony. Live in Springfield, Ryan Walsh, 22 News.